Hi! You remember this game? Well, welcome back to Clicker Heroes 2, where, uh, things are a little different. Hi, my name's Dazrin, and, uh, yeah, this is, uh, an update on Clicker Heroes 2. Uh, things have changed a little bit with my playthrough here. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, been playing this a lot with my free time. This is what I've been doing. Uh, taking a lot of time to see how things go, trying to get better at the game, playing it so that I don't actually have to play it and I can just leave it up on my screen. Because, you know, <laughs> that's what you do with video games, right? You play them until you don't have to play them anymore. And it plays itself. Last time I played Clicker Heroes 2, uh, I had just beaten World 1-100. Wow, am I going to do this first try? Oh, no. I wasn't too impressed by the game. I thought it was cool, and, like, I had a little bit of fun with it, but it was very much a lot of, like my own clicking and me doing everything and, and me having to take care of everything but as you can see things have changed and i don't have to do jack shit anymore <laughs> really like i for the most part don't have to do anything so since the last time i played this game there have been a bunch of updates um which are all in like the news and everything you can kind of see what the patches are and everything actually this just shows the most two most recent patches but well whatever anyway most recent patch actually isn't even on here because it, the most recent patch introduced the tree planer here which is really cool anyway aside from that so i'm gonna try and go over some things try to get you to understand what i'm doing here this is actually my second time recording this because the first time i recorded it the game audio wasn't recorded for some reason and i don't honestly know why so here we go first things first the skill tree and the automator tree and the automator system these are things that i didn't really fully understand the skill tree made sense i could get and understand how that works it has been reworked since i played it last time on on the channel but uh, it has come to my realization while playing this that if you go for this uh, specialty, the auto attack storm, and you combine it with mana guys here, you essentially have unlimited attacking like I'm doing here. I'm not going to beat this boss because I'm not powerful enough yet, but also, yes, I'm level 800. This is not the highest level I've gotten to. Uh, this is because I've transcended and ascended and all that stuff, but I've gotten over level 1,000 at this point. Once I realized you could get auto attack storm and mana guys put together and then unlock the automators for those things, you can basically constantly click. And as you can see, I have regular clicking as always on, but then I have auto attack storm activating when my mana is greater than 60%. And mana guys activating when my mana is less than 40%. Now, why are those important? Auto attack storm constantly clicks at the expense of one mana. Auto attack storm decreases your mana while increasing your, your energy. And then mana guys restores mana at the cost of energy. So essentially, you're constantly just having the two balance each other out. So it actually works out as like a perfect system, basically. Oh, I'm getting ahead of them. Getting ahead of them. Once you unlock those two abilities and you get the automator set up to do that, you're you're set. Now, as you can see, I'm on star system six now. This is not the highest I've gotten to either. Um, <laughs> when we played this last, I was there. Star system one, world one. <laughs> and I beat level 100 within that world of that star system. Since then, I have transcended twice, I think. Within those transcensions, I have ascended. So, what's the difference between transcending and ascending? Transcending starts you over basically from scratch back to nothing, but you get to inc you get to use uh, hero souls on these power ups 
that basically make the game speed up faster. Ascending basically deletes all of this in exchange for world crumbs. And those world crumbs basically increase your damage. Ah, I didn't beat him. I got close. I will this time, though. So, I'm going over so many things. I ascended a bunch of... I've transcended twice. I, I'll be transcending... I don't know. Probably in a f couple of star systems still. I, I think I've... The highest star system I've gotten to is star system 7. So, I think i got to get to star system 8 or 9 before I transcend again. What about ascending? Because I'm, I'm getting to the point here where you can kind of see... Even though I'm dealing a ridiculous amount of damage and I'm hitting faster than is hard it's you can't even tell how fast i'm hitting because it's probably faster than the animation actually can go but i'm still struggling with these bosses so what does that mean i should probably ascend sometime soon typically you should probably ascend every star system but i have not been doing that which i probably should and there's even an option for once you uh, a world end is to ascend on end of system. So once I would go through all of these worlds and get to the end of this one, then I would ascend. So if you've played the original Clicker Heroes, you remember rubies. Those were things that you would earn over time, but you could also pay for. In this game, not the case. You just earn them and, and you can use them pretty much as much as you want. Honestly, like rubies mean nothing anymore. Like. I could spend all the rubies in the world that I want. Clearly, I'm taking a little time between each enemy to really do some damage. You get those these moments where you kind of start speeding up due to upgrading certain uh, ability or upgrading these all uh, your equipment and everything. But it's struggling. I'm, I'm a character struggling to really make a great deal of progress, and I have two starfire which means i can ascend twice which means i should have probably tr ascended a while ago so we're gonna go ahead and uh actually i'm going to wait until i get near the 399,000, so that i'll be just ready to level up because when i ascend i still have like nine slots that i can fill but if i wait till i'm about to level up uh when i ascend i'll be able to fill 10 slots because when you ascend all of these abilities are gone. They go away and you have to reacquire them, basically. So I actually have a second automator set specifically for ascensions. Wait till we get to 300 and maybe 395 or so, and then I'm going to ascend. This is what I've been doing with most of my time during quarantine and during my hiatus. Playing this game, because it doesn't require a lot of you know, maintenance, it's very much a game that I can kind of sit back and relax with. I've put too much time into this game, honestly. I, <laughs> on Steam, it says that I have put in 200 hours. 200! Help. It's a great game to just kind of have running in the background while you're doing other things. Go onto Facebook and YouTube and do other things while I have this running in the background. And the nice thing is, if I click out of the game, the auto audio fades out. So it's really actually kind of nice so that you can just kind of let it run while you're doing other things. So here we go. Two, three, four. All right, ascended. So now I'm going to switch to my ascension set. This slows things down. You can just tell I just leveled up. So now I've already been able to unlock these and they're actually doing it automatically thanks to the new introduction of the tree planner, which allows you to plan out how you want your nodes to be done. So this is my auto attack storm planner. So basically the first thing it does is it goes straight for auto attack storm. And then after that, it goes immediately over to mana guys. And then from there, it'll start unlocking other abilities. So I don't even have to touch the upgrade system. It can do it on its own too. Yeah, this game is super fun. Like, when I first played Clicker Heroes 1, um, that game was very addictive. And, like, I played it way too much. I got to way too high of a level with that game. But when I played this for the first time, when it first came out, I was kind of thinking it wasn't going to have the same, the same wonder, the same, like, excitement, and the same addictive nature. But with the updates that they have put into this game... It absolutely has. Like, it absolutely works. Um, and, and they've done a great job of implementing things 
into this game to make it super fun to watch which is a weird thing to say like it's a super fun game to watch slash play sort of i guess kind of not really but anyway the only thing that i would ask of the developer i want i would love on the automator tree new new abilities that you can unlock also yeah let me get these done uh, uh new um automator nodes specifically around when you obtain um skills specifically a node that is for when you unlock like auto attack storm or mana guys because i would like to be able to as soon as i unlock mana guys switch back to my auto attack storm set and that is not a thing that is currently in the game i would essentially never have to play this game <laughs> i could just sit back and watch and do nothing and it's weird to say that that's the point <laughs> but it is that's the point of this game is to get so strong that you don't have to do anything that you can just let the game play on its own if you've ever played clicker heroes and you enjoyed the first game the second game is super fun too like especially with the newest updates it's been awesome um aside from this i did want to talk a little bit with you guys uh specifically to the patrons so i want to start getting back into things but I wanted your opinion and your input. So as far as streaming versus recording, how would you guys feel about me continuing doing patron picks, but as recordings instead of streams? I know that the streams are important to people because they get to interact. I've really been missing recording and I've really been missing doing editing and everything for recording. Uh, I don't know if you guys, like. I think I've explained it before. I love editing. I think it's one of the most enjoyable things that I get to do is just edit shit like i love it i wanted to see what you guys thought because obviously that means that i'd be recording patron picks and not streaming them so if you guys could let me know in the comments what you think about that or tweet at me i don't fucking care whatever works <laughs> just let me know what you think why did everything just speed up even more what what did i do what did i do that was weird I think I could do recordings on a daily basis. That's not to say I wouldn't stream at all. Like maybe there'd be a day of the week or something like that that I could stream regularly. But overall, I think I would just be recording. Uh, I do have recordings still set out all the way out until I think January of 2021. So, but they're only going up on like the Tuesdays and every other Friday. Whereas I think that I might be able to figure out a system where I can record videos for every day of the week and actually make it work. So let me know what your guys' th thoughts are in the comments about that if you guys want me to go back to regular recordings because it is shorter content and that way it's a little bit more consumable than you having to sit there at a certain time for an hour or more um and instead you could consume it on your own time and it'd be more condensed so let me know your thoughts and, and if you with youtube that kind of is that kind of is the algorithm streaming does not really work on youtube uh it, it's definitely more geared towards short videos. Twitch is definitely more geared towards streaming. Again, not to say that I won't stream, but uh, I kind of want to maybe try and get back into just regular recordings again and, and see about that. So let me know what you guys think about that. And if you guys want to see regular recordings again, or if you would rather do streams. Uh, my preference is obviously trying to go back to recordings because I do miss doing it. Um, I've been having a blast recording when I do record. And if I had every day available, I think I could put more effort into each video because as it stands right now, I record basically every other Saturday. And I try to record enough videos to get me through the next two weeks basically, or lately with quarantine, the next few months. I have to record everything, edit everything, upload everything like basically within one day. Whereas if I can space it out, that gives me more time to put more effort into each video so kind of thinking about doing that but yeah this is clicker heroes 2 it's addictive it's fun i'm having a great time playing it slash watching it because i'm not actually playing it but uh <laughs> if you liked the first clicker heroes i highly recommend it because it is this one's just as good if not if not better i i i don't know it might be better and there's no microtransactions it is a one-time purchase 20 bucks i think and then you're done you can play the game to your heart's content. It's great. So let me know uh, what you guys think about the patron stuff or about 
recordings again. And then um, if you guys want to check out Clicker Heroes 2, I absolutely recommend it. And I can't stop playing it. I can't stop playing it. <sighs> so that's going to do it for this video. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Uh, wear your masks when you're out in public. Wear your masks. Just please. <laughs> Um, but if you are staying indoors, stay safe, um, stay sane, because I know right now it is, it's hard. Mental health is definitely taking a hit for everybody. So definitely take care of yourselves, but I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, just take care of yourselves. So, all right. Bye.